Hello, hello, this is Jilly Bling. How are you today? I have a project using Cheerful Daisies Bundle. What do you think? Black and white, don't we all love black and white? With a little bit of yellow, um, Daffodil Delight, and Lemon Lolly and white. And of course with Granny Apple Green. So this is card number five in a series of five. So this is the last one. And you know what? I've got the other ones right here. This one was yesterday's with watercolor flowers. And look at this one. Interesting colors, but I love it. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? And all these videos are just from the past two days. So if you go to videos or to my channel and then say videos, it will list all of them. Then there's this one using Moody Mauve and Bubble Bath. And the first one was this one. So they all have the daisies on them, but they're all just a little bit different. So this is today's project and what I'm doing here, it's um, a set of five and I call it GHI, which stands for Gotta Have It. And if you order the bundle through me before, on or before May 7th using this host code, I would love to send you the five free card kits so you can make these because if you have the bundle, it's easy for you to make them. So Cheerful Daisies and Cheerful Daisies Dies. Hey, let's get started. And before we go any further, the catalog. So this catalog started today and finally we can open it. Woohoo, I love the catalog. And on page 110 and 111, they show the product suite. The product suite includes, of course, the bundle at the bundle discount price of 10% discount um, versus buying them separate. Then you would pay the regular price for them. It also includes the designer paper and these little sparkly gems, these little elements. Adhesive back solid gems, and they're really pretty. Okay, now let's get started. So the dies that you get in the bundle are... Um, this one for the little cluster of flowers right here, a word label, this little fern, a stem, flower centers, and then the daisies. And um, the middle, there's each of these three daisies have three layers, the bottom, the middle, and the top. The bottom is just an outline which cuts out the images in the stamp set. The second one is a little bit um, more detailed, but it's all in one die. So this is a second layer, and they're all connected together. And it's not a problem. Many times when they're connected together, it's just very cumbersome. This time it's great. And then lastly is the top layer that has just a lot of detailed. So all this is meant for layering and it makes beautiful flowers. Of course, with the big die are these leaves right here, and there is another die to go underneath if you want to add color to the center of your leaf, which we'll do today. But it's just nice to know what dies are included. Okay, so let's start from the bottom of the card and work up. So here is the paper base. And I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog. And my blog is jillybling.com. And my blog, oh, kind of excited. Um, I haven't updated my blog in, it's kind of embarrassing, decades. You're like, really? Yeah. Since my kids were little and it was like, you know what? I like this stamping thing. Let me, let me give it a try. And um, I paid to have someone design the bl my blog. The blog I have right now, it has a lot of blue and white and black in it. Um, but that was from a long time ago. 
and um, I've contacted someone and she's helping me set up a new a new blog her name is Annie and it is costing me way too much she goes don't worry you'll you'll reap the rewards it'll be so worth it I don't know about that but I'm excited to see what's happening she sent me a message um, last week saying I'm 95% of the way done with my my work and so tom tomorrow we have an appointment to do a zoom call and she's going to show me how to make it work I don't even know what platform it's going to be on um, and this all started because somebody said I tried to subscribe to your newsletter and it didn't work I'm like oh okay well maybe it was just her her connection so then I tried to go on as um, someone else and subscribe to my own blog and it didn't work so I contacted the server and they said, oh, that hasn't been working for a few months. You need to set up another. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Anyhow, um, tomorrow we're going to be a little bit closer. Okay, so let's cut out some pieces. I'm jabbering. Um, this, we'll do that in a minute. So the pieces we're going to cut out is the daisy, which is three layers. Did I not pull out the other one? Oh, sometimes it's hard being me. Okay, I'm like, where are the other pieces? I know that they're in this pile, but why don't I have them out? So this card, we're going to focus just on this one daisy, the one daisy that kind of has a top to it because there's this big daisy and then there's a straightforward daisy, which we'll use on the inside. Very cute. But for the outside of the card, just this daisy right here. And there's three pieces. So there's, this is the middle one, this one, which is a little bit more of a, just an outline, a little bit bigger. And then this one goes over the top. So for the colors, we will be doing Daffodil Delight. That's for this bottom layer. So this one, I'm going to do three of these. For the middle layer, which is this larger one, I'm going to do Lemon Lolly. Why do I like saying that? I don't know. Three of those right on here. And then this one, which is this detailed piece right here, that's going to be in white. Okay, since I'm on a roll, let's do the leaves too. So the leaves are going to be cut in the big one. And it's really nice if you find the shape of the leaf and just trim off the paper. And we're going to need two of these. That's going to go right here. Two times. Three times, three times, three times. What else do I have? Oh, this little black one. So this goes underneath here. Be doing that in the black. And then this fern type thing. Two of those. And I'm going to set them all out here in just a minute. Be using a mask. And we're going to do on green paper three stems stamped in white. Since we're almost there, ready to cut stuff, we pull out the Versa mark and do three stems. So it's being stamped in Versa mark and then it's going to go into the white powder.
So this die cuts out those three. Okay, and if you're like, okay, now what, what, what am I doing? I'll show you. I'll show you what you need to cut out. Cut it out. And I'll just let it sit there for just a minute. So um, it'll just be more clear. So the flowers. There's three flowers. We'll do the flowers. We'll talk about the flowers first. And then we're going to work with them to put them together. So three flowers on here, three flowers. And each of the flowers consists of three layers. Three layers per flower. Daffodil, lemon lolly, white. Daffodil, lemon lolly, white. Daffodil, lemon lolly, white. Okay, let's do just the flowers right now. So on this piece here, this lemon lolly piece, um, because the middle piece was cut from this, there's a little bit of these um, extra bits of paper on here. The one I cut it out, that was part of the big flower. So those just need to be trimmed. Just so we have pretty, pretty flowers. Okay, and one more. Ooh, that one has a big daisy part on it. But it's really easy to trim it off. They had the um, big flower connecting to this little daisy, just the right, right spot. So it makes it easy to trim it off. Okay. So now let's build our flowers. But before we build them, we're going to add just a little bit of color. Because if I did them just like this, show you the difference. So just in cardstock, it's cute and all, but which one do you like better? This one just seems to have a little bit more depth and that's done with a dauber and daffodil ink. So let's do that part now. Daffodil ink and a dauber. So on the white, a little bit of color on the edges and I'll do all three of those. Just a little bit. Oop, that one got a lot. Okay, and then on the lemon lolly, just a little bit of color right here at the top. And so you can see the difference, one from the other. See, it's just a little bit darker. Okay, and then on the daffodil piece, are you thinking, well, daffodil with daffodil, can you really see it? You can. Color on color. And I'll show you the difference between the two of them. And keep in mind that this daffodil paper is going to be covered by the lemon lolly paper. And you'll just see a little bit of the edge. So you don't have to be all that particular about um, your sponging. There's a little dog at the door right behind me looking in and saying, hey, Hey, let me in. But he gets to stay out for a little bit because it is beautiful out there. It's in the 60s and it's good for him to be out every once in a while. Otherwise, he's in the house sleeping on the couch. That dog can sleep. Okay, so I'll show you the difference from yes to no. See? Just a little bit of a difference, but it all adds up. Sure makes some pretty flowers in the end. Daubering, dauber, dauber. And I don't think that you can accomplish this with a sponge, 
or with blending brushes. So we all need some daubers. Okay, we'll be using a little bit more of that in just a minute on the inside of the card. So let's build our flowers. So on the previous projects, to build the flowers, I was using glue dots. So this time I'm trying something a little bit different. The glue dots, they worked really well. But I, th I think I went through a whole roll of glue dots. Dimensionals. And a half a dimensional. Can you believe we need dimensionals that small? A half a mini dimensional. That's crazy. Put it over on this one. And how about up here? Okay, one of them is ready. Lemon Lolly. <gasps> Today is new catalog day. So, guess how many orders I've put in? And there's kind of a reason. I, I know I could have combined a few of them. You know that means more than two, right? So first thing this morning, I had some people that um, sent me messages in advance saying, okay, the minute the catalog goes live, I want these items. So that was order number one. Order number two was, because I forgot something, and hey, I need a whole bunch of stuff including, um, I like to have duplicates of the stamp pads. There's all these new colors. Okay, so that was number two. And then of course I had to add in a little bit more. Then number three was, I um, each year for my downline, my people, I like to get a stamp set and give it to them. And unfortunately, I can't break the bank and buy a $50 set. And I had something picked out, and I forgot to order it. Not that it had to be ordered right away. It, I could have waited a week or so. But I thought about it, and then I know right now they're shipping. Right now it says shipping, or the status to get it through their warehouse is, I think, 4 to 12 days. They are so backlogged. I'm like, I need to do it now. That's order number three. But we're not done. I went over to Mama's, and I was talking with some of the girls, and they're like, oh, you didn't forget. And we want that daisy bundle. We want the Gotta Have It, which is awesome, very awesome. And as I looked through the catalog, there were a few more things that I wanted. Four orders. And I'll, I'll probably do another one. But fun times. And you know how when um, Stampin' Up! announced color refresh, and I was all grumpy. Oh my gosh, how are we going to do? Still kind of the thought of sand being gone. I love sand. Um, but I've moved on, and I'm very happy right now about all the new colors, the refresh. It's um, it's a good thing. Even just the designer papers, it's very fresh. So, there you go. Okay, now this one is going on with glue. So the first layer, that was dimensionals. And now the white one is with glue. But I think you could build your um, your flower any way you like. I see a little bit of paper shards. I know my cutting pads are getting really old and they do things like this. But they're not warped. When does that happen? They always warp. So why would I throw them out? I haven't. Okay. We have flowers done. Aren't they cute? Don't you feel something good happening here? I do. I do. All we have to do... Okay. So at first we're going to concentrate on flowers. They're done. 
So next is, what do we have over here? Let's do these, um, the leaves. Leaves, leaves, leaves. And you know, as I was assembling this card, I thought, wait a minute, if there's black background, and I put the leaf here, I don't need to put that back layer on it. But look how it crosses over the stems. Therefore, put the layer on it. So let's do that. Just a little bit of glue. And putting the stems on, you would think, oh, well, just put them on. But trying to maneuver them all, I'm going to, I'm going to somehow, I'm not sure what the answer is yet. I'm going to be smart about it this time. Because I was pulling stuff up and putting it back down and then having to pull it up again. I had to be smart. And what's nice about these leaves and putting the black behind them is if it goes over the edge, it's okay because it has a black background and you don't see it. Okay, I want it to dry. They could dry on the rhinestones. Those are a little bit elevated and on plastic. I don't even know what to work on next. I should do next month projects, get them prepared. But I don't have anything anything new, new. I have things that carried over, but I want something new, new. You know what I mean? I mean, if I did something with a pretty set that carried over, that would be great and all, but new, new. I ordered, <laughs> I ordered all kinds of stuff today. Okay, so I'm kind of procrastinating about those stems. Let's do that. Let's do rhinestones. Rhinestones. Did you notice there's rhinestones on here? You see the little sparkle? They're like, hey, where'd you get black rhinestones? We're going to make them. Pull out your um, blends, black, dark. And if you don't have black, dark, that's okay. You can use a Sharpie. Any alcohol marker. Any color is good. And if you're using your blends, try to be careful with the tip because that tip is just delightful when it's new and it's sharp. So just be a little gentle as you apply the color. And because they're alcohol markers, it doesn't take up long, long at all to dry. Okay, no more procrastinating. Let's do, I know, let's do the words. So, embossing buddy, embossing buddy on black paper, if you push really hard, it will leave snail stuff. It will leave a trail. But if you do it just gently, it doesn't leave a trail. And you're probably like, what are you talking about? So, I take this paper and I'm going to push hard. Okay, you saw me push hard. Look what it does. It makes it murky. See the difference from this to the paper below it? Yeah, not good. So, trick. So, wishing you the brightest birthday. That's going to go in Versa Mark, then into the white powder. up just a little bit into the powder oh so the designer paper I was probably talking about something um, when you put that on oh and the designer paper came from the zoo zany zoo so this is what the designer paper is and it has the animals on it. Like that's the aardvark, and the bunny, and the bird. Um, 
So when I put it on here, because the um, valley is not exactly perfect, like it's bigger here than up there, I thought, oh goodness, I cut the paper crooked, but it's just the paper. So I decided on this one, I'd make sure that the valley was going to be underneath this panel and it would look a little bit more straight. So just keep that in mind. Okay. And I see a little bit of residue. I'll let that cool and then use my handy shirt to buff out the extra powder. Okay, so I think that's all we need to do on here. So I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. Plenty of dimensionals. Good. Okay, can't procrastinate any longer. Come on, stems. Okay, the stems are going to go under the flowers. Woohoo! Um, let's put the flowers on. So at this point, I'm just going to do one big dimensional and put the flowers on wherever I think they need to go. But if possible, not, that one might be too high. Not, oops, oops, not too high, and there's a reason for that. Okay, this one could go straight up and down. This one could go leaning in the wind. And this one can go leaning in the other wind. And it's okay if they're close together. Okay, and the stems. <clears throat> you know what I might try is... Because this will not be as permanent, I'm going to put just a little bit of adhesive in a few parts on the stem. So we need one right here, down to about there. You know what, I think this is going to work. Okay, but I'm going to show you why I was stumbling with this. This one I want it down low, going to this flower. You're like, hold up, it doesn't reach, but I have a plan. This one can go from here to here. I'm going to cut it right there at that knot. Okay, that's no problem. And I'm using all this just because um, the um, stamp and seal, and I'll stick it down with glue in just a minute. So this is why I was kind of struggling earlier because I want it to look like it's all connected to this one center stem without looking like Mother Nature doesn't bend it like that. And now this one could go right from here. You can't even see it because of that one. But um, see how I'm kind of piecing them together? That doesn't look good, but I'm going to put a leaf over that. So because I know definitely where this one goes, how about little bit of glue at the top. I'll let it dry and then I'll do more glue after it dries a bit. Don't you sometimes wish you had multiple hands, like more than two hands? Okay, hold that down. Is it connecting? Oh, that looks good there. Okay, so that has the glue on, the glue on it. 
dry, dry. And in just a minute, I'll lift this up and I'll put more glue on it. But in the meantime, I could do this one. Maybe I could just do parts of it. Maybe. You know why I was procrastinating now? It's not terrible. <coughs> okay, now this one should go on easy. So putting the stamp and seal on it first, that, that worked out pretty good. So we'll go right there. I'm connecting right underneath this one. This first one, it's not put on yet, but I think it's time. Oops. You know, hindsight is good. Learn from the, I wouldn't say it was a mistake. It just wasn't turning out the way I wanted it to. But it is this time. And keep in mind the glue, it's going to dry. It's white now, but it's going to dry clear. Okay, that one's had two minutes. Okay. Stick. Stick. Okay, so now for the leaves. I like this little one right here. Two big ones, a little one. The daisy petal, that could go away. And same with this one. Okay, so these. I had there conveniently covering that little junction. How about right like that? Okay, and I'm not going to worry too much about covering this junction because the next leaf will cover it. So I'm going to stick down the bottom part with liquid glue and then the top part after it dries a bit with a little dimensional. Okay, right there. Oop. Daisy is the winner. Daisy gets to show. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Yeah. And the other one. The other one gets to tuck underneath the primary stem and then cover up that. Cute, cute. I love it when a plan works out. That one has a gap under it. We're doing good. Right there. Here, covering up that junction. Yeah. Okay. So dry, and then I'm going to put dimensionals underneath the leaves and more under the, the flowers. But there's more. Understated elegance. So these little black fern type things are going to go random places. Like how about right? Right there. Underneath the flower, of course. And this one can go right about there. Should it go down here? No. No. Right there. So, we start with just a little bit of glue, tuck it underneath, and then I'll pick it up and I'll put more, more glue on it. Good thing the glue dries clear, huh? Okay. That's a start.
and the um this black fern thing i kind of like it not fully stuck down because it provides shadow and a little extra dimension oh this one's coming off the edge of the card is it too late to kind of scooch it scooch over scooch right there that's good will it stay it'll stay Okay, give that a minute to dry, and it's time for bling. Bling, oh, that's always easy. So five sparkly blings. Two. Three. Four. And five. Five. Okay, so this needs a little more attention. I'm going to let it dry, but let's work on the inside. So the inside is just stamped three daisies, and we're going to use a mask. So let's do it just like this one. And before I stamp the words, I'm going to stamp the daisies first. So um, this daisy and the filler and the dot. Those are all done in daffodil. So here's daffodil, full strength. Let's do another daffodil on the side using the mask. Daffodil and one more. And um, using a post it as a mask is great just because the paper is thin, but because the paper is thin, many times the post it paper becomes saturated and it will leave residue underneath the post it. Like the ink is so inky, it soaked through the paper. So that's the only downfall with using a post-it. So if that happens, you just have to stamp it again on a post-it and cut it out. Cut it out! Okay, daffodil. So to get the filler for the flowers a little bit lighter, I'm using the same ink but a dauber. So the dauber will apply a nice thin layer. I'm going to start a little bit heavy in the center, and then as there's less and less ink on the dauber, I'm going to go out to the edges, which will make it look lighter. Isn't that fun? Okay. And the center daisy gets a flower center. A little doppering. I hear that dog walking down the stairs. There's that dog. So now I'm going to add a few leaves in Granny Apple. Hmm. I think I was. There we go. Okay, Granny Apple. So, two leaves. Oh, I'm a sucker for him. Just a minute. Okay. Okay, smile. Smile. Some leaves. Let's do some more leaves over on this one. Oh, 
Oh, that right there didn't come out very good. Ha! When does that happen? Not often. Okay, and then maybe a couple leaves on the top. Those I'm doing them a little bit shorter. Those are low profile leaves. Okay, that turned out good. Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay, so now it's time for stamping the words in Memento Black. Your friendship means everything to me. Okay, so let's stick this on the inside and finish up the front. So since this is handy, Isn't that pretty with that granny apple border? I was thinking I should use a new color. I use granny apple all the time. I should use the um, lemon lime twist or the parakeet party. But as I pulled them out, it's like, I just like granny apple. I'm just in the mood for granny apple. Okay, so this is looking good. It's getting dried. So now I think we just need to add a few dimensionals on under the flowers and under the leaves. So here's big and little. Probably most of them will be little. So let's just do little. This um, this bundle has this has been a lot of fun. Sometimes the bundle is like, okay, I need to come up with a different idea, and it's a challenge looking around trying to find things that seem worthy of you all. Um, but this one, each and every card is so different, and they're so fun. Did you see the watercolor project? Oh. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was almost, that, that was indulgent. Those, all those flowers do not need to be all those different colors, but it was just fun making that big sheet of watercolor paper for the flowers. I kind of made a mess. Water everywhere, curled up paper everywhere. But I liked it. Okay. I think that's it. So this is today's project. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the Gotta Have It. Um, the cutoff date is May 7th. So if you order it by May 7th and use this host code, I would love to send you these five free card kits as a thank you. Have a great day. Bye.